listen, I'm, we're willing to stay in here tonight to just, I feel like some of you are, are right on the threshold of an encounter with God that's going to last you a lifetime. God's looking for gazers tonight. It's time to gaze. Song of Solomon 4 9. It's my favorite verse of scripture. It says this just with one glimpse of your eye, you've made my heart beat faster. Another translation says, just with one glimpse of your eye, you have ravished my heart. Just with one glimpse of your eye, you have captured my heart. Another translation says, just with one glimpse from your eye, you have stolen my heart. All those translators are trying to convey what lo one little word means. It's the word labab. It's so full of meaning that English translators in the Strong's Concordance had to make up a word to try to convey what labab means. They say labab means to be unhearted to be transported with love in other words when someone is labob their heart is so won over by the object of their affection it's like it's taken a stolen away from them and given over to the object of their affection unhearted is not even a word but they had to make up the word unhearted to describe what labob means so that's what they're trying to describe so think about it if the Old Testament is a type and a shadow of our bridegroom, King Jesus, if just one glimpse from your eye makes his heart beat faster, first it means that he's staring the whole time, wait, just waiting for you to go. You found favor in his sight and he's looking at you, just waiting for the. Some of you husbands, you know that. The time you first made eye contact with the one you love, you waited forever just for her to go. And what happened? Your heart began to beat faster. Just with a glimpse. Listen, Phil, I was in worship one day. I was reading and praying through the Song of Solomon. I got the Song of Solomon 49. I was just praying to cry. I began weeping uncontrollably because I heard the Lord say this to me. He said, William, if just one glimpse from your eye makes my heart beat faster if that happens with a glimpse what if you gaze what if you gaze he can't contain himself and neither can you because what you behold is what you become everything changes when you're under the influence of the love of God I was a wreck this morning in worship. I'm telling you, the presence of God was so strong. I wept for two reasons. One, because I felt the love of God crash in so powerfully. But then I wept again because we were dismissed. I'm so tired of waiting on 835. Let's wait on God tonight. Where are the gazers at? The gazers get the glory. I'm telling you, y'all are on the precipice of something. No, so that, can we just press in just a little bit longer? I don't know what that looks like, sounds like. We're at, a, we're at a place, I feel the glory of the Lord here in a strong way. If you never get another man to lay hands on you tonight, I'm telling you, God wants to touch some of you in a deep, profound way. Come on, let's gaze. we've been gazing at the enemy for so long and glimpsing back at you for answers God forgive us we've been gazing at circumstances we've been gazing at problems gazing at other situations gazing at Facebook social media and everything else glimpsing at you glimpsing at our Bible God, we, we ask you to recalibrate our hearts tonight. We gaze upon you, King of glory. 
receive the reward of your suffering. You stand on that cross for the joy that was set up before you. You were waiting for gazers. You were waiting for worshipers. Let your heart be moved up.